So how keen are you to stop practice and actually playing this week? Yeah, very keen. Obviously, the way we went out last year, I think we just want to get back to playing footy and get back to playing um, some good footy as well. And I think, yeah, obviously pre-season goes slow at the start, but this time it tends to fly around and, yeah, the boys are really excited and, yeah, we've we've been had a good training set, um, off season and um, worked on some things that we need to work on. And I think we're just looking forward to hopefully putting that out in the field game day. And I think the next few weeks is a really good um, opportunity to do that and um, express what we've been working on. Standard line this time of year is pre-season. You've all worked harder. You're better. You're faster. You're stronger. But what's actually changed over the pre-season football Adelaide that's meaningful? Yeah, I think it's. I think. Mostly with us, we know we're going to get from Brokey and Robbie and they've come back in great nick again and um, done a lot of hard work. And our older guys like TJ and all them older boys, Ollie, we, we sort of know what we're going to get from them. But it's probably that next wave of me, Connor, Zave, even Josh Singh coming in and um, training well and showing what he does. I think it's us boys pushing that next wave and helping us, our team get better. Um, and I think we can we can really do that. And I think that's as that early 20 to mid 20 year old group, I think, We've sort of put that ownership on us to help the club get better and um, take that responsibility. So how does the game get better? You say there's stuff you've worked on. How's that going to get better? Yeah, I think we just need to keep working on contested stuff. I think that's where we got beaten, obviously, in the prelim. And that's what let us down. So as a midfield group this year, that's something we're really focused on. Um, yeah, we can't have them two or three games a year where we get beaten badly in there. We've got to minimise that and um, make it closer if we're going to lose the contested ball in there. And um, just some stuff defensively as a team as well. I know Chad has taken over defenders this year and he's been really strong in that, so um, a few little tinkers there as well. How close were you to 100% in that prelim? You're obviously in and out through the year, but how far off your best do you think you were? Uh, yeah, I guess it was, it's pretty hard to gauge. I, I probably wasn't yeah, at my best or nowhere, probably near my best, but um, yeah, I was still having some issues with my foot and my toe come back to life, which was um, yeah, a bit of a scary one at stages there, but... Yeah, I think I've got a lot of confidence back in my body now with the pre-season and um, even just getting through the internal. So, yeah, really looking to build on that in the next couple of weeks. And, um, yeah, I pretty much feel I'm 100% now and I'm ready to go and been had a good season in the midfield, uh, pre-season in the midfield. So I'm just looking forward to, yeah, implementing that in the next couple of weeks. There would, have been a, there would have been a lot of guys that would have had that burn, but I guess guys like you and maybe Connor and some of the other boys who were carrying injuries or in and out, that's... Is that even maybe stronger because you know how good you can be and you weren't able to get to that on the on the bigger stages? Yeah, I think it's a challenge. I think probably not too many blokes are fit and firing or where they want to be that time of the year. But um, yeah, I think it's a challenge when you've had missed a fair chunk of the season trying to come back and build that match fitness and playing the roles you want to play. Um, so I think this year, basically, all you can do at this time of year is give yourself the best opportunity to get your body right and build into the next season. And you know, there's going to be injuries at times with footy and. Hopefully with a bit more luck, just play more games, and I think that's what that's what I need. Uh, are we watching a competition for spots in the midfield? There's so many blokes going through there in the trial game. Do we expect the same, see the same sort of thing in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I think there will be the same thing. I think there's a, a wide uh, range you can go through there with me, Connor, um, us boys coming in, even Dan um, Houston and Josh Sin played some good footy on the weekend as well. So I think there's definitely a competition for spots in there, and I think that's what makes it healthy as, as a footy club you want that as a footy club I don't think anyone wants to be rocking up knowing that they're comfortable and um, they can walk into that midfield I think you've got to be rocking up fighting for it every day and I think that's what we've got going on at the moment I think that, that's what I like that competitive side of as well and I think that's going to give us the best version of the 22 that actually walk out in game day and perform in that role I think you've got to be fighting for it. Do you think um, Josh Shin could walk into a round one spot potentially and play some good footy in that, in that um, intra-club trial? Yeah, I think he's shown some good signs in the off-season and um, yeah, I've liked some things he's done and um, it's always good to have another pick 12 at the club. Um, but yeah, I think it's just for him just keep um, improving and keep learning how we play and what we need him to do as well. And I think he's got the right talents and attributes to help our team um, win games. So um, yeah, I'd like to see him um, play. So yeah, whether the coaches say that or what happens there, it's up to them. But um, yeah, I think he has some great attributes that can help our team. My well, uh, Connor and no scooter today at training. Can you give us a bit of an update on that? Yeah, I think they were just feeling a bit under the weather, um, just with booster shots and stuff. So I think um, they'll be in no doubt for this weekend, and um, yeah, they'll be back at training. Did you do a full pre-season, or how close to a full pre-season have you done this year? Yeah, full pre-season. I haven't missed a session, so yeah, touch wood. But um, yeah, full pre-season and um, full off-season back home as well, training and stuff. So um, yeah, body's feeling good. But you it touched the last time you would have had such a build-up to a to a season yourself. Yeah, it probably would have been the last pre-season going to that. My first few were interrupted with shoulder surgeries and stuff. So, um, yeah, and I was pretty happy with the way I started last year. So um, just looking to build on that and give myself the best shot to perform um, and, yeah, find some form early in the season.
I know you mentioned it before, but you know what you're going to get out of Oli, Trav, those sort of players. The fact that if you guys are going to go to the next level, it is yourself and these young blokes coming through. That sort of pressure, how does that sit with you? Um, I don't really see it too much as pressure. I, I think it's more a challenge and I think as athletes and myself personally, that's something I look forward to and that's why I get out of bed every morning. I get out of bed to get better and improve and um, show what I can do and I think that's that's very exciting for myself. And um, Yeah, I don't really see that too much as pressure. I think it's just a great opportunity for myself and something I can work towards and I think that's how most boys hopefully see it as well. What's the, your, uh, your ideal mid-forward split? Do you want to just become a, a full-time mid? How will that look, do you think, this year and going forward? Yeah, I think I'll still spend some time at half forward and um, I think it'll be something I build into hopefully in the future to become a full-time midfielder. But um, yeah, at the moment, I think I'll still play maybe like 60-40 or 70-30 or whatever that is with the coaches. But um, yeah, there'll be stages that, yeah, obviously we want different blokes in there and fresh legs giving us a different mix. So there'll be stages I still play half forward and um, that's something I'm still developing as well. But I haven't just solely focused my whole game on that. You've got to be a pretty well-rounded player these, these days. So... Um, yeah, but yeah, hopefully building into the future that I can get more and more mid-time, yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, I think uh, TJ was mentioning when he had his captain's press conference that there's a sort of group of emerging leaders um, at the club. How different or not different has that been for you sort of growing that side of your game? Yeah, I think for me, I think I always look to lead with the energy I bring at training and game day and my competitiveness and um, what I do on field with my actions and um, yeah, how I expect my teammates to train as well. I think for me, with the emerging leader stuff, probably just developing that other side of feedback and communication and um, just learning how to yeah, give feedback to teammates and talk to teammates and probably yeah, more that talking side and nursing side. I think that's something I'm working on at the moment. And um, yeah, we've got a good mix in there and Nathan Bassett's been leading that at the football club this year. So I think, yeah, it's going to help the club going further. More guys that can step up and be leaders. So. Um, with Raz set for an extended stint on the sidelines, who sort of fills those that role that he sort of comes in and plays, and you know, and fills those goals that he kicks? Yeah, yeah. I think obviously Raz is going to be a big a big miss for us early in the season. Um, he's had surgery now, and he's on the men, so hopefully the quicker we get him back, um, we'll be better for the team. And the group is really good around the footy club, so. Um, yeah, we'll definitely miss him early days and what he brings. But I think, yeah, we've, we've got a, a few young guys that have um, showed some good signs earlier. Jackson Mead's been playing a bit of half forward and you guys would have seen Pep's performance the other day in the English club, him kicking goals and um, looking fit and firing, which we love to see as Pep. He's a real um, driver of that area for us boys as well when he brings energy and he's going 100 miles an hour, sort of makes the others want to do that as well. And then I think even Jed uh, McEntee's showed some great signs this offseason. He's really developed himself in that high half forward role, so I think there, there are a few that could um, step up and potentially take that, that next level. Any update on Charlie Dixon? Yeah, yeah, Big Mix had surgery. Um, yeah, he's been walking around the club and up and about lately, and I think he's still hopefully pushing for round one. We know how important he is for our team, so yeah, he, he's definitely moving uh, better the last yeah, few days, and uh, it's good to see him back around the club and up and about, and yeah, we look forward to having him hopefully as soon as possible. <laughs> Bit more of a serious haircut this season. Does that mean a bit more, a bit more serious football? What talk us through that? What happened to the the lock? Yeah, I initially shaved the head um, back in Melbourne when I had COVID over the off season, and then sort of just been growing it back slowly. And um, yeah, I think getting a bit older now, so the melt maybe on on the way out. So yeah, time to grow up a bit for me. <laughs>